Okay, you guys, this is real talk. I may not be an actual hoarder, but I'm kind of hoarder line, you know? Like, I'm right on the verge of having trails through my house. In my defense, I only keep things with sentimental value. The trouble is, I attach sentimental value to everything. I still have the bridesmaid dress from every wedding I've ever been in. I still have the bridesmaid bouquet from my brother's wedding. That was 30 years ago, you guys. Look at this. It looks like something from Tales from the Crypt, like cobwebs and all. It looks like the bouquet from the Bride of Frankenstein or something, I don't know, it's pretty scary. Why have I kept this all these years? Because it was in a box inside another box in the bottom of the box in the back of the storage shed. I didn't even know it was there. Seriously, you guys, I have 30 years of crap I am cleaning out right now and it is not fun. But we are getting it done because we got to be downsized to fit everything we want to keep in that bus right now. You know how you're just exhausted at the end of yard sale day and you're too tired to make dinner? So uh, we decided to make something really simple for dinner, but guess what? We're eating in the bus. We cooked it on the grill outside and now we're eating it for the first time ever. How awesome is that? And these are our beautiful chili dogs. Aren't those the most beautiful chili dogs you've ever seen? They're delicious, delicious. <laughs> Oh, Mama Kitty, no. What are you doing up here? That is not for what are you, you doing? young lady. Along with being just barely hoarder line, I'm also only 90% vegetarian. So Chili Dog Day obviously is one of my 10% days. Cheating is okay. It's the fire in the rain. within the pain It's the logic but insane You cannot know from where it came It's the way you cross the floor Before you head on out the door It's the figure on the wall so many times I heed the call It's the silence of the room The way you turn before you bloom Another shadow for the blind I think I'm gonna lose my mind shelf's done and so are you. No, this isn't the first project of the day, you know. <laughs> I know, it's just an on, ongoing stream of small projects. Forever. Most of which we these haven't are, even filmed. These are feature requests. Karen decided she wanted a shelf after the shelving. These are honeydews. No, I knew I wanted <laughs> shelves all along. You just didn't finish them on the day you were doing Whatever. Them. That's exactly what didn't happen. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh, you are a glutton for punishment. You just want me to keep naming honeydews? We got those trims in the back. Yep. We need to stain, poly, cut. We don't have any more poly. Well, we'll just stain them then. Hopefully this is the last 
bathroom we have to stain for the bedroom. Is there anywhere else in the bus we need to stain? I don't think so. You missed a spot. I see that. <laughs> see, we have to put these extra pieces of trim on back here to cover the uh-ohs, like over here. See that? We're making that go away. That's it. All right. Actually, you needed it. It frames it in better. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks finished now, huh? Yeah, it really does. I love our little bed nook so much. I like it. I think this is becoming my, my favorite part of the whole build. <laughs> Mike just remembered we never actually attached the back piece of this chair either. Done! Dang, I mean, seriously, now we're finishing things that aren't even on the list. <laughs> By the way, the list, you guys. Oh, good. This was our list that we were working on for a long time. And then we made a new list. <laughs> so we're working on that one now. I could put my cricket mats down in there yeah. for the cricket because I have like two footers that wouldn't go anywhere else. Nothing really would fit in here. Oh, we could fit a lot of window coverings, Some, I guess. A little bit of Reflectix, huh? Okay, I gotta get the vacuum. Yes. Mr. Messy Pants over here is making messes again. Pretty sure he's getting the bus done. Yes. Magnificently! Thanks, baby. Been working hard on this. I know, for a long, 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 long time now. <laughs> yeah, and I've had it. <laughs> oh, quick pop. Woo! That was a good one. <laughs> you guys, we are driving around the block in our bus for no good reason today. Just because we can. This is my daughter Dana. Say hi, Dana. Hi. I used to say, say hi to America, but now we have to say hi to the entire world. That's right. Here's another project that's been happening behind the scenes that you guys didn't even know about. Mike's building me a cabinet. For her dollies. For my miniatures. For her dollies. He insists on calling them dollies. They are dollies. Okay, there are dollies. But I make miniature like diorama. How do you say it? Dioramas or diorama? Diorama, I think. Diorama. Diorama, diorama. I make miniature dioramas with all kinds of, I don't know, intricate little lamps and things. Anyway, I couldn't leave them behind. They have to come with us. So Mike built this cabinet just for me. And my dollies. And her dollies. <laughs> I feel like I'm in some cool woodworking video. <laughs> right? You are. Or somebody had like these professional chisels. The only thing is, is I finally actually learned how to sharpen knives after 50 years almost. And so now I'm actually able to like get these things sharp enough to do what you see in those videos. <laughs> so now this thing sits in here like that very nicely. You see it? I sure am. Oh, look. Oh, it has two little hooks. Yeah. It's so cute. My miniatures will be safe and sound 
Except for the cost earth. Right? So everybody <laughs> speaks up for our time. Well, hopefully every little tiny part and piece will be hot glued down. Right. So they survive the uh, daily earthquakes or weekly earthquake, whatever it turns out to be. It is pretty heavy. Yeah. All right, I'm probably going to need you to line this up. Oh. Oh. I need you to line this up. Okay. Just putting that little thing to keep it from moving if we hit a big bump in the road or something. And then there's one underneath it. Just to help support it. Yeah, to support help support the weight so it's not all resting on the screws. That's right. Okay, let me get in there and see how it looks. It's my own little private collection. Oh, I love it, honey. I really love it. It's going to be perfect. I got to go get one. Here's one of my little tissue box and like I make the little bedspread and pillow and there's a little table. Come on your hand out of the way. And I make the little lamp out of bead parts. Oh, that's cool. With the little chain for a pull. And this one I made the little bed myself out of balsa, what is it, balsa wood? Mm -hmm. So cute, right? And this one has a table I made out of a spool painted with a button on top and I made the lamp for it too. Cute. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's what they look like when they're inside their little rooms. So cute. So, and these are made to fit the height of the tissue box perfectly. So they'll all slide in like that. And there's some different ones too, but I'll have to get them all in first. We got their new lights in the mail to go in our bed nook. They're so cute. They are so cute. They're very simple, but that's what we wanted because, you know, the wallpaper's pretty loud in here, so we had to keep everything else simple. I do believe we decided that white was ground and black was hot. Which was hmm. silliness. Good job, Doctor. We just took the guts back in. <laughs> I'm going to use that one day. <laughs> this is so absurd. It's perfect. <laughs> Good job. Way to put the guts back in, Doctor. Nice and gentle. I can't oh. believe that was like record time you got that thing installed. Yeah. Pretty bright. Light, please. Light. <laughs> nice. Check. Very cute. One more thing off the list of things to do. Yes. Oh, look. Oh, cool. Oops. They look totally good with our um, dark black handles. Right. My tool bag back there. Oh, it is. We grab that. Mike's working on one last project. How many times do you think I'm going to say that? One last project <laughs> for um, in the bedroom the of the bus <laughs> before we move in. And this is just a simple project. It's just something that has been left undone until this moment. So we're getting it done.
I need you to come and hold this. Oh, sure. Okay, go ahead. was going to be. Oh, you got dirty handprints all over it. I better wipe it off. Can you see the handprint on it? <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's not coming off at all. What is on your hands? <laughs> Good morning here. Oh, good morning. <laughs> I meant to get the camera and film the bed last night with the bed all made and looking pretty and everything. And then we totally forgot and just went to bed. <laughs> Oh, mama. She's being all super dubby this morning. Like, where were you guys last night? I was in the house all night. You guys weren't there. <laughs> no, she was out here at the bus. Was she? Yeah. When I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning, she came and sat on the couch next to me. Did she? <laughs> As usual. Awesome. Oh, mama. Little mama Sita. All right. Coffee's almost ready. Yay. Oh, I am. Okay. With the streaks of sunlight coming through the steam. Oh, cool. It is kind of cool. Okay, I'm up now, you guys. And here's our little bed nook that I wanted to show you with our fancy hand dyed linen duvet cover that I ordered all the way. It came from Lithuania. Isn't that strange? How interesting though. This is what it looks like in our little cute cozy bed nook with everything all together. I love it. Here's another one of the million and one bus projects we're doing <laughs> before we go. This one was more critical though. Yeah. Can I tell a story? Sure. <laughs> so I was at work and Carrie was here and also I get this phone call and there's she's sh there's like a frantic tone to her voice and she's like I think there's something wrong with the propane <laughs> and I'm like what now now we just got this propane tank filled okay she I think there's something wrong with the propane I'm like Oh my God, well, do you know what it is? No, it's just, there's a loud hissing noise coming from under the bus. And all I can think about is our bus blowing up okay, in a big and, fireball. And you have to mention here that this hatch is locked oh, yeah. at so, the time. Yeah, there's we have a, a padlock lock. Lock on it. So I couldn't get in to see what was happening. All I could hear was this loud hissing coming from behind <laughs> this door. So, um, we immediately like my mind's racing like did the tank catastrophically fail like this is fairly new like what a year old but like how often do we come in here and mess with this never right and so carrie's able to reach up here she turns this one off first nothing happens she turns this one off like she's laying on the ground right here right with my reaching arm up. reaching up and i can barely on the on the second one i couldn't even like grab it with my fingers to turn it i was pushing it with one oh finger God. at a time like just barely barely budging it till it closed so she turns it off and the sound goes away thank god yeah this is what happened this factory thing let me close up on that failed catastrophically um and blew out right here it was coming around it was coming out from oh, behind yeah. the seal into the outer sheath here and finally just exploded the outer sheath this probably bubbled up and then burst and so yeah that's the story of that thank god um i was here she was here also hopefully it was a little bit windy that day so like 
ultimately the wind probably would have dissipated all this stuff and and you know there wouldn't have probably been, been any okay, giant tragedy but, but. <laughs> and it just so happened another part of the story is that i happened to be in the shower removing the grout haze with that chemical that we bought at the time when the hissing started so at first i thought the hissing was coming from the shower drain i was like trying to put my ear down there and hold my hand over the drain to see if i could feel air coming out because i didn't i it took me a minute to figure out what was going on yeah it's pretty funny just pure freaking excitement right there it was i was <laughs> like you said a little bit frantic i was too because i'm like 40 miles away right <laughs> having no idea what's really going on with the bus yeah oh god that was that sucked. So now I've got these new things on here and they don't seem to be leaking, but I do need a um, lighter. If you can grab me a lighter. Oh, to test it? Yeah. Sure. Nothing, okay. Uh -oh. Turn that back on. So these new ones that we're putting on are, what are they, braided? <laughs> you got a steel braid on the outside. Steel That braid. doesn't mean it's gonna work better. That just, hopefully, that was a factor seal defect and it's probably because this is not a very expensive thing and these pigtails were probably not very expensive. That were on it. Yeah, so even though they pass all the, this was made in 2019, so pass all the standards or whatever, but probably not as good as this. Yeah, essentially, it's kind of holding it down. All right. So. We'll let you know how these ones go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need like a pen to mark this with. Look what we're putting up. I think you a, can mark it right there. I think a tiny bit lower. It doesn't matter. Oh, just okay. doing width. Okay, where am I marking? Like right on top of my finger. Is that where you're cutting it? No, just mark it there. So where do you want this to be exactly? Here. I think like more towards the middle is better. Towards the middle, but not all the way to the middle, like just lower than the middle. I think where you're at looks really good. Okay. And then we'll add another one. Okay. And when we get some more. It's moving day. It had to be done. Yeah. What was the other belt? Oh, it's on the front dash. We're just hanging around in our old driveway while we're uploading a video today. And then we're going to hit the road in our schoolie. For Step reals. Day. No looking back. Love it. All buckled up and ready to go. That's right. Have to batten down the hatches. You guys, the moment is here. We're saying goodbye to the house I've lived in for 11 years and hitting the open road. Ready? I'm ready. Oh, Are you that. ready, Mama Sita? She is not ready. She is not ready. She is not liking this already. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is it. I can't believe we're driving away from my old home. Poor Mama Kitty is hiding under the couch. She does not like moving day at all. This is so for real right now. It sure is. It feels real. Yeah, I feel like my heart is pounding. And 
seem to be clear. Oh my gosh, we're hitting the open road and our bus, our bus home. Can you believe it? This is crazy. This is it, day number one. I know, we're actually doing it. Can't remember where I've been. I don't know where I should begin.